Hello and welcome back to the channel. How the devil are you? Okay, so I've been using this old laptop uh, to do my editing and among, among other things. It's starting to get a little bit worse for wear now. I think it's well past this sell by date. So I've been using this now uh, for the last couple of years to do my editing. I was using PowerDirector 15, I'm not using PowerDirector 19. Uh, it's good editing software, quite easy to use. But this just can't cut the mustard. I just get, get jittering and, and freezing and, uh, uh, and oh, I should do my head in. The Wi-Fi is poor. Um, you can't do multiple tasks because, you know, it's, it's the, the cores just can't keep up with it. The process just hasn't got the speed there. Uh, and I've had to get a Wi-Fi dongle to boost the Wi-Fi. So, I decided to treat myself to a new PC. I'm in the PC. <laughs> okay, so what I bought is a HP Pavilion 24K 000-3NA all-in-one PC. Um, it's got a Ryzen 5 4600H processor, which I'll talk a bit more on later. Um, it has 512 uh, gigabyte solid state drive, so it's going to be a little bit faster on boot up and load times rather than having the old um, disk drives. And it's got a Radeon integrated graphics. So it's not going to be the best for really hardcore gaming, but for light to moderate gaming, it's going to be fine. So let's just have a look what we've got. So we've got, uh, let me just measure the screen here. Let's have a look. We got, let's have a look. There we are. There you go. So we got a 23.8 inch screen, okay? Uh, we got um, nice thin bezels around the side here, nice narrow bezels. And down the bottom here, you've got your built-in speakers. So there's two speakers. Uh, so you get stereo. Uh, they're B&O, so they are, they are Bang and Olufsen, but don't get your hopes up, okay? <laughs> it's not gonna be, it's not their audio file division, it's their electronics division. So you're not gonna get some, some stu stupendous sound out of them. However, in saying that, they are pretty good. Um, they've got a decent bass, decent treble, they're nice and loud, and probably, 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 probably uh, one of the best sounding uh, spe built-in speakers I've heard in a long time. Um, what I'll do now, just have a listen, put your headphones on, and have a quick listen to what you think. Not bad, are they? They're okay, aren't they? Pretty good. You know, so great for, you know, when you listen to YouTube or even if you want to put on a little bit of music in the background. Absolutely fine. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to get out of the computer now to go through the rest of the stuff. Hui! <laughs> oh, blah, that's better. It's a bit cramped in here. I didn't like it. <laughs> anyway, so it also came... Uh, with the mouse and the keyboard. And an added bonus was in the description, which is odd, it said it was a wired mouse and wired keyboard. So I wasn't expecting to get a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, which was an added bonus. It's much better with a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse than wires do my head in. And it's a decent keyboard. It's really well made, uh, you know, feels solid to touch. Uh, the typing is good, nice and, nice and narrow, not too big. So it can fit on the surface, uh, it's not taking up too much space. So that's a really added bonus. So next, I want to talk about the processor. So I'm just going to use the Cinebench R20 benchmark. There are other benchmarks for other other things, uh, but I just want to use this one just to show you. You can go online and just Google or search for 
uh, other benchmarks. But just have a look at this. So the Ryzen 5 4600H is uh, an entry point <laughs> processor, okay? Now check it out compared to the others. So this is your multi-core processing, okay? And look at the scores compared to i9, i7. Uh, these are, these are octa-cores, eight cores, and it's leaving the poor core i5s way behind, way behind. And even in its single core test benchmark, uh, look, it's still pretty close, 447 to 4, 459 for the i9. Uh, it's just, it's crazy, do you know what I mean? So, but if you compare the Ryzen 5 4600 to say the next uh, i5, 412. So it, it knocks the pants off them. So this is a very, very good processor. So I'm screen recording now, which takes up a lot of the processor's memory. And I'm going to now open Power Director. This is a problem I had on my laptop. Is if I was doing anything else like screen recording, there's no way I could edit on Power Director. So you can see that I'm able to edit, no problem at all. Okay, crossfade. Here we go. Just very easily, no problem. It's playing all fine. <laughs> No jumping, no stuttering, nothing. It's also worth mentioning that it comes preloaded uh, with a and uh, and Netflix subscription if you want them on there, which is handy. Um, you, you know, you, you've got you've got your uh, m -m -m -m. I mean, if you get tired of using your voice, you can always just use your finger. So, does that, okay. It's, it's good because you can, you know, see your smart home stuff here. There's all my smart home things there, okay? I can turn the lights on and off and things like that, dim the brightness using the mouse or the, whatever. And you know, I've also got my music here as well. So this is good that you can actually see it. So you, I won't play in it because I'll get copyright strike. Um, but uh, yeah, so you can see, you've got your music here, whatever. And it's just handy to be able to actually see it rather than just speaking to the, to the, to the echo speaker. And the last thing I want to go through is the webcam, okay? Where is the webcam? Where is it? I don't know where it is. Uh, very simple. <laughs> it's there. Voila, okay? It's just on the top here, just flick it up. So that's handy. You can pop it down so you don't want anybody spying on you, okay? <laughs> and um, yeah, so you pop it up. It's only a five megapixel. Look, it's not going to be brilliant. It's not going to be the best camera in the world. But it does the job. You can do web, web calls, webcam calls, Zoom calls, uh, Skype calls, whatever you want to do on it, okay? So let's get into the testing of it. Okay, so here's the incredible webcam. Like I said, it's only uh, a five megapixel. So you can see it's not the greatest, okay? Um, let me take some pictures of myself. Let's have a look, show you the pictures. Okay, here we go. How do they come? How do they come out? Let's have a look. Lovely. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. There we are. Okay, and uh, let's get off. Let's get that blue square off my face. So as you can see, if you look around here, it's all quite grainy. Not brilliant. I'm using the uh, the, the mic. So I'm not using my cat, my normal mic. I'm using the internal mic on the PC. So this is what the mic sounds like. It's not bad, actually. The mic is okay. It picks up really well. Um, but you can see it's all grainy. I'm going to show you something now, and I won't. I want to turn. I'm going to turn this light on here, okay? To show you something. I won't. I won't use my okay? I won't use that. I'll actually, well, I'll, I'll do it using the app on here. So there's my smart home here. Where is it? That's the one I want. Okay, let's pop that on. Okay, so that should be on now, hopefully, when I shut this down behind me. Yes. Now, can you see? Can you see this? It's just a glow. Where, where's the light gone? It's just disappeared. <laughs> What's happened? Where's it gone? I don't know. It's magic. Okay. Um, so it's just literally, it's just gone completely. All right. 
So I want to show you a little trick how to make your webcam look a little bit better. Okay, watch this now. Boom, my retina's out. Okay. Did you see the difference then? Did you see the difference? Okay. So look now. You can see the light now. Okay. All I'm doing is just using the light on me. So <clears throat> if you want to make your webcams look a bit better, you're chatting to your boss or your colleagues and you want to, you know, look a little bit better. I mean, this light has taken at least oof, two weeks off my age. <laughs> okay. And the reason for this is the reason for this is that these webcams, uh, the sensors are rubbish. Okay, <laughs> they is shockingly bad, so they don't pick up light very well. So you have to give the light for them, and just by putting a light in front of you, you can use it for all your camera work. You should always use light if you're using any vi videography. Okay, just put a camera in front of your webcam. Bam, Bob's your uncle. Uh, I did say that was the last thing I was going to go through. Uh, but I forgot something, the connectivity. So I'm just going to quickly go through the connections on the back and the side. On the back we have the on-screen display OSD button. This changes your screen settings. Uh, your memory card reader, you have a USB Type-C port. Then you have a USB ports on the back, three of them. These are all Type-3, so it's not the two old 2.0s. Uh, you have a HDMI in and out. Uh, these are only 1.4, not the two and above, so that's a bit rubbish, really. But there we are, I've still got HDMI ports. Uh, you've got your power connector, your network jack, security cable slot. And on the right, you have your audio in, audio out headset, 3.5mm jack, and another USB port type 3. Okay, and that wraps it all up. Uh, I'm really pleased with the, with the PC, I'm really happy with it. It looks lovely, it's just really fast, really snappy. I really like it. Um, uh, and I'm glad I bought it. It's much better than my crappy old laptop. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Go on, and don't forget, subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.